One thing I have learned while sailing is it's not always going to be easy. There will be things that test you and try to break you, but it is up to you whether you will overcome these obstacles or let them overcome you. Each day the sun rises, the tides will have washed everything away and a brand new day will begin. Well, it's 9 a.m. and we've made it to Twin Harbors on Catalina Island and we uh, got a mooring ball here. So we're tied up safely after one wild night. Oh, man, it's already really hot here, but um, first things first, uh, get the dog to shore, let her do her business, and uh, I'm gonna take a nap. I am tired. But uh, this is uh, looking like a, a much needed improvement of our uh, last few days, so uh, it's looking like a pretty cool little place in here. So we're still at Catalina Island and uh, we did relocate to the other side though. Um, this is a really, really cool island and we're in no hurry to leave. But 
Uh, there are some heavy, heavy winds coming our way. So I'll show you here on the chart plotter. What we did was we uh, came over from uh, two harbors right here and we just came around to the only all weather harbor on this entire island. And uh, we're just gonna kind of hunker down uh, the winds are projected to get up into the 40 knots plus, so uh, quite breezy. So uh, we are anchored uh, stern and uh, aft uh, on these mooring balls here, and here comes a good gust of wind. And uh, hopefully these suckers hold. Uh, they seem to be pretty secure, and uh, we're really going to test them out tonight. So uh, yeah, after all this wind blows by. Um, not gust. I wonder if it's ruining my audio. I should probably go forward a little bit. So once these winds do pass us by, we're going to head on over to Avalon. One more stop on Catalina Island before we make our way back to the mainland and uh, ultimately San Diego. Um, but this place has been really nice. Uh, I really enjoy getting in the water here, doing some snorkeling, and it's a, a really, really fun island. But um, tonight, it's looking to be a bit stormy. So... Well, it looks like the winds are picking up, but the swell is really minimal here. Uh, it feels pretty secure. You know, this is kind of a lee shore situation at this point. If something were to break loose, we, we could be in trouble, but um, I'm gonna put my trust in these mooring balls here. And uh, I can see out there through the uh, bay entrance, just these mountain swells that are out there. And I'll tell you, I am really happy that I'm not sailing anywhere at this point um, but I think this is a pretty safe place to be and I am happy to be here So we survived the 40 knot windstorms and uh, we just dropped our mooring in Catalina Harbor here and we're on the move again. So we're gonna hit up um, Avalon today. Uh, this should be a real exciting town, uh, probably real expensive too, but uh, it's probably something we need to see before we head on out and leave Catalina for good. So it's a beautiful day, probably gonna be motoring. It doesn't look like there's too much wind out here, but uh, our buddy's traveler is right behind us. So um, we're gonna hit up uh, Avalon together. Apparently, we need to follow this guy so he can check us in. Good, how are you? We're looking to get a mooring ball for two nights. Yeah. Avalon, as well as two harbors in Cat Harbor, Use a mooring system that utilizes a forward and stern mooring line, separated by a spreader line. Just aim for the pickup pole, throw it on deck, and pull in the lines. This allows boats, which would otherwise be incredibly too close for comfort, to snuggle up and, well, be incredibly packed in. Rent a golf cart and tour the town? Absolutely.
Five o'clock. Happy hour. like their happy hour around here. It's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> well, we're getting ready to go jump in the water and do some snorkeling over here at the Casino Dive Park in Avalon. Apparently it's, uh, it's all fenced in, so it's kind of strange. It seems a little commercialized, but um, there's scuba divers over there, snorkelers, and it's free. And uh, we also hear that it's actually really cool. So uh, I'll turn the camera around over here. It's actually, uh, let me see if I can focus it here. There we go. So it's just right over by the uh, casino itself right there. So just a short little dinghy ride. And we're gonna go and jump in the water. Hopefully we see something pretty cool. Let's go check it out. This small dive park is extremely convenient, and though I was skeptical, upon entering the water I quickly realized that this is a very healthy ecosystem. But don't be mistaken by the beauty, the water is still very frigid and a wetsuit is a must. First light, and we're leaving Catalina Island, getting a nice and early start for a 10 hour voyage back to the mainland. And uh, destination San Diego. So it's time to get on a move again. A lot of fun. Gonna miss this island, but it is what it is. And it's only gonna get better and better. So it sure is pretty out right now, though. Join us next time as we set sail back to the mainland. We clean up the ocean one balloon at a time and we arrive in San Diego. Woo! I finally take ownership of my new camera and we make our final preparations as we prepare to leave America behind and cross the border into Mexico.